Metway. She was a student at Aikido of San Francisco. So I thought you might like to hear a little of some of what she sees, how it looks from her perspective. Happy to have you with us. Thanks for joining us. Aikido, as I've grown further in the art, is less about, which was one of my preconceived notions in the beginning, about getting stronger. And as I've gotten further along, felt more that the, the art and the technique and the approach is softer, and how to be softer. And, and um, I wrote something to the effect of kind of taking the acronym of soft. What would that mean? You know, S-O-F-T. It would stand for settling down, O for opening up, F for feeling, and trust is that piece of trusting that energetic, relational space thinking that feels very risky and then moving from there. And there's that, that sense when you move into the energetic realm, there is a very felt sense of a high risk and then there are also very much high reward. The thing around that is, is that in Aikido, it's calculated. And people forget that piece. So all we're feeling on a system level is risk. It's fight or flight. That's all I have. I have no other choices but those two. Um, so that would be the magic one. I would give them something of uh, pushing beyond um, their fears and uh, taking that risk. Because really, truly, when you do take that risk and you put it into uh, practice with a, a proper, appropriate teacher, the, the things that you develop um, and the ways that you develop absolutely translate into every other aspect of your life, work, personal, family, um, and, and even in your own personal practice, you know, whether that's meditation or something else. Don Juan has a thing where he says, uh, the sorcerer's view isn't any more real than the ordinary man's view of the world, but I taught you the sorcerer's view because sometimes when you can see both views, you can see reality and the crack between the two worlds. 